A study in the country's genomics program found that the science and technology department was able to turn research into useful products and thriving startups. We'll learn more about this with DOST Undersecretary for Research and Development, Leia Buendia. Ma'am Leia, thank you so much for joining us today. The DOST was recognized by Dr. Sally O'Connor, the program director of the National Science Foundation in the U.S., was uh, this recognition? Why was uh, this recognition received by the department? Well, actually, we requested uh, the NSF uh, as a foundation to uh, study our Philippine geno genomics uh, program so that we will see the impact and uh, we'll see how this uh, um, genomics program is uh, being used in the country. So actually the report is an assessment, uh, an impact assessment of the Philippine Genome mm. Program. So uh, ma'am, what will be the impact of this positive assessment on the country? Well, she said earlier that uh, the impact was actually, and uh, the measure was one the spin-off companies that were done uh, after the, the, the Philippine Genome Center has been uh, established. So the products uh, also are also a testament to that uh, impact of uh, the Philippine uh, Genomic Program. And um, I, I think uh, Dr. Sally O'Connor appreciates uh, um, and reflects uh, that mm -hmm. uh, translating basic research into useful products through the creation of successful startups. Yes. And also, it's, that's, the, that's the major so, uh, testimonial that he, she made earlier. Well, congratulations on the achievement of the DOST. But for our viewers, can you explain to us briefly what is genomics and why is there a need to invest in this type of research? Well, ge genomics is actually a uh, broad term mm. uh, which uh, looks into the composition of either human, uh, human uh, bodies or animals or even plants. And this is uh, the genes that uh, runs our physical bodies and even that of the animals and the plants. And therefore, through genomics, we can predict, we can diagnose and treat diseases in humans, plants, and animals. And additionally, it can help achieve food security mm. by improving crop and livestock productivity. So putting it simply, genomics enables our capacity to design health, nutrition, and agriculture according to specific needs of the Filipinos. And uh, ma'am, the DOST revealed the rare disease afflicting exclusively people with Filipino ancestry. How significant is this research? We have uh, recently learned about a rare disease that only affects Filipinos, uh, Filipino ancestry. And it's called X-linked dystonia Parkinsonism, or in the terminology, Filipino terminology, it's called Lubad. And it's a severe neurodegenerative disease that primarily affects males with matern uh, maternal ancestry tracing back to the Panay region of the Philippines. And to gain better understanding of the disease uh, in the Philippines, the National Institutes of Health, University of the Philippines in Manila, of course with the support of the DOST, has worked on characterizing the genetic prevalence of that positive gene. So what causes that uh, genetic uh, prevalence? So. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there is no cure as of the moment, uh, but they had made some significant progress in detecting the specific genetic marker associated with the X-linked dystonia Parkinson's disease. So, 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 so ma'am, how does the DOST plan to sustain its efforts in genomics research? Well, the, the DOST, in order to sustain our efforts in the genomics research, it's very important that we work um, and have a multi-stakeholder approach even from the beginning. So we need to make sure that the approach of our scientists are problem-based and not just focus on just pushing the technology. And likewise, uh, the genomic program is, uh, uh, we also want to partner not only with uh, academe, with the government agencies, but more more so with the industries to adopt the latest technologies that we have developed in our healthcare, in our farming, and in industry practices. So it's 
crucial also mm. to allocate the necessary budget to improve and develop the agriculture and the health sector. And through this, the DOST is uh, still supporting the Philippine Genomics Program. All the best in your genomics research, ma'am. DOST Undersecretary for Research and Development, Leia Buendia.